Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So we're both good. Amazing. <laughs> what? How good we are. Yeah, amazing. I was thinking. Yeah. About. You were thinking about. If only. If only. Things. Things. You know, things. Right. Things. It's funny. What? Things. Yeah, things. You know? Yeah. Maybe. What? Maybe a different. What? Time. Different time? Right. Time. <laughs> Time. There's never enough time. We should be so lucky. Enough time. Yes. Things. Right. Things. Do you remember? What? When we first, what, you know, when we first, when we first, you know, that first night, you mean when we first, yes, I remember, <laughs> no, you don't, <laughs> yes, I do, that first night, the first time we, yeah, yeah. Some people wouldn't remember. Right. Well, some people wouldn't. I do. I saw stars. Stars? Yes. The first time we... Yes. You mean... You saw stars the first time? Yes. I never knew that. I should have told you. I never knew that. Stars. Wow. And. Uh, and. Bright colors. Bright colors. With the stars. Bright colors and stars. Yes. And. Another and? It was almost. Almost. Continuous. No. Yes. The stars and the bright colors continuous? Yes. Really? Really. That night? That night. Wow. And? A third end? Yes. An explosion? You had an explosion? A muffled explosion. That first time? Yes. I didn't hear you. Because I muffled it. Really? I didn't want to appear needy. S stars, colors, a muffled explosion, wow. And you? Me. Stars, colors. Um, it was. What? So. So. A word. A, a word. I, I'm searching. For the word. Here, here it comes. Enjoyable. Enjoyable? 
Well, there's so many words, it's hard to choose. So, um, just, just the uh, one word. And. And. I'm searching. Natural. Natural. Like fresh. Natural, like fresh. Oh, scary. What? How fresh and natural <laughs> and enjoyable. No stars. Maybe. Colors. Maybe. Explosion. It was more like. More like. Music. Music. I heard music. You heard music. Yes. What kind of music? Sonny and Cher. You heard Sonny and Cher. Yes. I got you, babe. Fresh, natural, enjoyable, with music by Sonny and Cher. Yes. I had stars and colors. Stars and colors. Inside and outside. Stars. And colors. Both. Inside and outside. Inside and outside. Wow. Maybe. What? Maybe if. Maybe if. Nothing. Maybe. If I had had stars and colors. Maybe if I'd had Sonny and Cher. Maybe. I gotta go. Oh, oh me too. Mm. You too. Mm. Tuesday night. Oh, right. Tuesday night. Basketball with the guys. <laughs> Seven o'clock Tuesdays. Wearing your uh, Laker shorts or your sweats? Both. Both. My Laker shorts outside and my, uh, my sweats inside. Well, that's different. And you? Me? Yep. You said you got to go. Where? I don't know. A, a movie? A movie tonight? Tuesday? Yes. Well, what happened to Fridays? Fridays when you go to the movies with your sister. Things change. Things change. Right, so no more Fridays. Trying to leave Fridays open, you know, just in case. Open, just in case you. I, I, I'm not looking, I, but you know, just in case. <laughs> That's when it happens. Not that I'm looking. Right. You? Looking? Just in case? Uh, I'm not looking. Oh, well, that's when it happens. When you're not looking. Right. Maybe. But. You know. Things. Things. It's funny. What? Things. All right. Things. You know? Yeah. 
things. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Todd Felderstein from Smartphone Theater. Thanks for watching Things and Quiet Car, two terrific shows. You had a very special night, it was a twofer. Uh, make sure you stick around because we now have a talk back that's gonna follow in about 10 seconds. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe, check out our YouTube channel, check out our Facebook page, check out our website, smartphonetheater.com, and tune in and every Friday or almost every Friday because we always have original plays or we have conversations or who knows what's going to be next on Smartphone Theater. But we were very thankful for you guys, for our audience and for everybody else who participates. So remember to, uh, to keep coming back because we love you. All right. So thanks again and we'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you both to both casts, both creative teams. Really wonderful. Uh, I'm going to um, ask everybody to join one at a time. So we are going to start with Mr. Eugene Butler. Uh, he was the writer and director of Things. So come on in, Eugene. Gene. There we go. Great. Hey, hey. All right. And then next we have uh, Darcy, Darcy Sheen. Hello there. Hello, Darcy. And then we have Michael Cavanaugh. Hello, Michael. And then we'll jump over to Quiet Car, and we're going to start with the writer, the playwright, Richard Alleman. Hello, Richard. Straight from New York. And our director of Quiet Car is Kate Kaplan. Great. Hi, Kate. And Hello. then and Spencer Weitzel. Spencer, come on in. And then Carl Weintraub. <clears throat> Carl, you're here somewhere. I'm pretty sure you're here. Okay, but while you're you're pressing that button, we're gonna go to Willem De DeVries. Come on in, Willem. And I think there's mm -hmm. Willem, and I think Carl is popping in. I see a frame, so you're still uh, you're still dark. But while you're figuring that out, that's okay. So we have uh, we still have a nice big house. I'm going to. Um, uh, Gina Costa already has her hand up, so we're going to start this. We're going to start it off with Gina, and come on in. You're good to go. Awesome. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you. I have to say, after um, a little bit of um, uh, a little absence of smartphone, this was one of the best <laughs> nights coming back. Oh, it's true. It thrilling and. I have to say to Gene with uh, his piece Things, um, I I have to say I think this is my favorite thing you've written, Gene. I'm I, I I really it's really risky for writers to use as less words as possible, but I absolutely felt that uh, your two actors. I was in it. I was in it the second it started. It didn't let up. I love the simplicity of it. I, I I think that's it. I loved the simplicity of it. And there was so much that those two actors could fill in mm -hmm. and they broke my heart and it was fantastic. And I am just, being a writer myself, I just, I want to urge other writers to go, you know, sometimes less is more. I'm always like, no, less is less and more is more. And let's, let's, this was beautiful, Gene. And yeah. bo both, b both of your actors and uh, just beautiful casted, beautiful casted. And um, I just, Every moment it gave me, um, uh, it breathed, it breathed and I was able to really kind of key in on each actor with what they were feeling, what they were acknowledging, everything's over a phone call, time was took, it was gorgeous. 
Thank you. And I, I just have to thank you guys enough for really trusting that simplicity of it. Uh, so uh, just beautiful, beautiful job, both both of you and, and Jean. So thank you. And then kicking into uh, the whole noir thing with the quiet car. Um, that was all that was wonderful and uh, kate congratulations on such a beautifully directed piece and um just you again i just i love i love pieces that engage two actors um you can't hide from anything you're there there's no place to go you have to engage in the material you have to be part of it and you guys did and um so that was that was wonderful. And the production value was with the music and the train tracks and the whole ambient thing. Um, I just applaud this evening of smartphone theater. Thank you guys so Thank much. You. Thank you, Gina. You're Thank awesome you, Gina. as always, <laughs> as always. And uh, yeah, that was, I mean, we had some production uh, going on tonight and, uh, and so it was just fantastic. I, I, I'm thrilled. And um, Carl just joined us, so hello, hello, Carl. <clears throat> I see you're you're a little technically tra uh, challenged where you are, but that's okay. We'll we'll get to you. And um, uh, I'm going to go to Chalmers. Chalmers, you have your hand up. Yes, thank you. Uh, I I echo what uh, Gina Costa just said about both pieces, in terms, uh, especially of the acting. Um, but I have to ask the director of Quiet Car, Kate Kaplan, how the hell did you do that? I, I have seen innumerable, as I'm sure we all have, Zoom productions, but that was, uh, were they together or not? Was no, that, they, they were not together. We, we that was the most we, seamless production. And you guys, in looking at each other, and and really engaging with each other, it was just stunning. I and uh, I I just my hat is met metaphorically off to you. Thank you, thank you. And then we shot it on green screen, and then Spencer, our actor and designer, helped create that virtual world for us. And uh, Spencer, sound terrific effects and, job. Yeah. Yes, really great. Because there was so much physical behavior, we, we sort of needed to we needed to bring him in the same space, but we couldn't be in the same space, so. Since since the cat is is sort of out of the bag, and let me let me just let me just add a little bit more. So, ninety nine point nine percent of all of the shows that we do on smartphone theater are live on Zoom live. That's that's part of our, that's part of what who we are and and what we do. Every once in a while, we'll have an actor who's not available on that Friday. So there's the rehearsal process happens, and then we're going up on a specific date on the 19th, and then our act, the our actor or somebody goes out of town. As we have Carl, who's on my bottom right, is out of town, and 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 um, internet is a is a guess basically. So what we do as a backup is we shoot it. And we'll, we'll shoot it as a background. Um, and they did, and they shot it on a green screen and Spencer went and cut it. He did the opening and closing, did a beautiful job in post. And it's still a Zoom production. It's still done on Zoom. It just happens to be married together in post-production. Uh, and that's what we typically do um, if there's an iffy, one of our, our actors, and that was very true on this one. And it wound up that it became very successful. So that is why we had the production done the way it was. So I hope that answer some questions for you guys. But really, really wonderful job. I thought your posts and your titles, I'm just saying, outside of your, your performance, Spencer, which you did a great job, a lot of double duty. Uh, I was very, very thrilled with your with your opening and closing titles. I thought you did a terrific job. Thanks so much, thank you. Yeah, that was great. Do you guys want to talk about your the actual shooting, how it actually took place, any of you? Uh, sure, well, uh, just like you said, when you have working actors and things come up, we had a change of cast. We had a medical emergency with a cast member, so we had to lose a cast member. And we actually only had this group together for two rehearsals. And um, so we did it on green screen. And because of the physical behavior, I narrated what was going on business-wise so that they would know when to look and you know, what they were reacting to because they weren't in the same space and they couldn't really read their script and 
see each other. And then, um, like you said, we married the worlds. We found um, the sound effects and the world of the quiet car. And uh, uh, Esther did his sprinkle dust on it, his magic <laughs> dust. Sure. Pretending to look at someone who's not next to you is, uh, is hilarious <laughs> when you're, when you're <laughs> you know, trying to be truthful with someone's script. This is a very funny thing to do. Yes, but you sold it. You sold it. It's, all, <laughs> it's you, really, it's all about eyelines. And, you know, you, you had good eyelines. So it, you, it certainly worked. Carl, do you have audio where you are? Yeah, yeah. All right. Chime in. Chime in. How was it? Where it are was you, by the way? Well, right now I'm um, at a buddy's house in Carmel. I was backpacking and then came up here to to check this out to see this. Beautiful. So it's we were watching, watching it on his computer, but it was weird. So I'm on my phone now. Gotcha. gotcha. But it was, uh, yeah, it was. I mean, Spencer was so much fun to work with, and and then Kate's, you know, Kate's running stage directions in the background, telling us when to look and. When to, <laughs> what to do? To react. Yeah, it was kind of it was a crazy way of working, but uh, yeah. But I got basically for me, Spencer was wonderful because I I came in at the last minute here and and you know I was just kind of filling in for somebody who was going to do it and but they made it really fun. He's a fun guy to work with. Good. Okay. And then we did some, you know, I did yeah. some private coaching with um, Willem to figure out what his his uh, conductor voice should be. You know, we played with different images of of what character that would be, and then Spencer affected it so it felt like it was coming over the speaker. Very nice, very nice. Richard, how many times has this show been been performed? Uh, this is the first time it's been performed. Really? Uh, it was in a film fest or in a uh, theater festival. Yeah, theater yeah. festival two years ago. Um, Got it. And I, I just want to congratulate everybody. I, I, I thought, Kate, you did a wonderful, wonderful job. Thank I you. loved the noir touches, which I, I never thought of this as film noir, but it is. And, 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 well, it totally felt like a Twilight Zone episode to me. So that's, you know, Spencer found some, what he called Twilight Zone adjacent music. Yeah. That no, felt like music that. It was great. Yeah. No. So, um, very exciting. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to see this wonderful production. Richard, are you a, a quiet car um, participant? Do you take the Amtrak frequently? I, I do. And, and I was, my husband was doing a play in, in Baltimore and Got I was it. in New York and I was going back and forth quite a bit in the quiet car. And I thought, what would happen if I got some really wacko person? <laughs> Good. And, uh, and I thought Spencer did a wonderful performance. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm from Baltimore, and I would imagine it's pretty easy to find a wacko person. <laughs> no offense <laughs> to Baltimore people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, those are my roots, Baltimore. So it's nice to time. Right? I, I, I like the line when you talk about Baltimore, and, and you're like, Baltimore? <laughs> like, yeah. I get it. <laughs> I certainly get it. Uh, Lisa Richards, Lise. Uh, hi, hi. Uh, I I have to say, um, I enjoyed the first play very much, you guys. You were wonderful, really wonderful. Thank you. And Eugene, you always write with such heart. You know, that's what I feel. And. Richard, uh, this was like a dream going into a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, this was such fun. Kate, you must have had a ball. I I'm did. sorry you lost an actor. But um, you had Spencer, who uh, is a, a, a nightmare dream. You know, <laughs> oh, my God. You know, what a fun, typecast. <laughs> what a fun person to play these things. Uh, Spencer, I... Uh, you have a lot of roles ahead, I can tell you that. Well, he and um, I have done a bunch of shows together. Yeah, so yeah. He, I've had fun with Spencer. We, we've definitely had some fun, yeah. Thanks and, so much, it's really nice of you to say. And Carl, you did great for being asleep the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> really, really. Um, no, it was fascinating. I love the twists and turns. 
And I liked the message too, Richard. It was good. Yeah. And the noir was fantastic, you guys. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks. Uh Richard. Yeah, as always. Oh, Steve wants to talk. Can he talk? Of course. Hey, hey Richard. Hi, I Steve. just wanna I just Steve Mandillo and Lisa I'm with Lisa, you know, Richards, and we got this script from your sister and and we brought it up and we thought it was very, very, uh, how should we say, that sharp. That was terrific, yeah. Yeah, That's really good. And um, then what they did, what these kids did with it, was really gave it a good jab and I gave, gave it a good shot. And it had a lot of power and I uh, love what it says. How many times I've been on that train, I can't tell you, but I, <laughs> I love, I love your take on that. Uh, the local the locals riding the train believe me so anyway richard it was superseded my hopes for it i thought it was very good beautiful very entertaining Thank yeah thanks steve yeah thanks steven all right well i hope to see you guys soon i hope so yes definitely all right so we're going from steven to steven we have another steven so Steven. Steven, Richard. Steven Patterson. Yes, Richard Alleman. My gosh, it's good to see you. Good to see you. I can't see you, but, but uh, good to see you. Well, you can hear me, apparently. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just as happy that you can't see me because you wouldn't recognize me. But maybe you would. But I recognize you. And uh, this has been a, a, a unique experience, needless to say. And um, Stephen and I went to uh, junior high school, high school. Oh, wow. together yeah, we, we've known each other for a long time. I won't tell you how long that's been. It's, it's, <laughs> that might be embarrassing to both of us, but uh, we, we, we both know Baltimore very well. And um, we also know Pennsylvania potato chips very well. <laughs> what? That was outrageous to, yes. to have you introduce that into, you know, your 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 pr presentation, sure. and, and 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 I want you to know that um, I had an, a very similar kind of uh, quiet car experience uh, a few years ago on an airplane. It was in the air from from Dulles Airport and outside of DC uh, to Dallas, and and my quiet airplane mate was from Baltimore, and he <laughs> and he he was a rock and roller. He was the lead guitarist in a band called Hell Yay, <laughs> and he was on his way to to Dallas and then on to LA and then on to foreign places with his band. And we had the most amazing conversation. I was there on, on this plane going to a bank conference. I was on the board of a small bank in Pennsylvania and there was a conference in Dallas and I was on this plane and I, it was quiet because it was business class. We were in the first row, and it was the only, it was the last seat for me. He had already been there, and I sat next to him, and it was a very awkward introduction. But we got to know each other very well, and we found out that we had an awful lot in common. And I won't go into that, but this tonight reminded me so much of that exact experience that I had. So I really appreciated the That's chance to, to be involved in this. Thank you so much. We're thrilled that, you, that you're that you here. So that's wonderful. You know, you brought up a good point and I'm just going to uh, give everybody 30 seconds of what smartphone theater is because it's obvious we have a few new people tonight. We've had audiences all over. Smartphone theater was basically founded in March of 2020. So when the when live theater shut down, this started up about two days later, and we've grown to what we are today. We've done 50, 60 plus shows. Um, we did 47 throughout 2020. 
and we primarily do live, although we do uh, uh, conversations every once in a while. We had we met with Alan Arkin, we met with Lou Antonio, we met with some other wonderful Mark Radel, wonderful, wonderful people, and that's going to continue. In fact, in December, I believe we're meeting with, um, I'm sitting down with Mitch Ryan, the actor Mitch Ryan. Um, so uh, that is that is basically what we do. Back then, we were doing shows every Friday for good reason. Now we're doing them once or twice a month. So we're, we're not going away. It's a great place. It's a wonderful platform to try out new material. So one, you know, some people, as you could tell, there's no, these are, these can be on book or they don't have to be on book. So it's really, you know, some people are off and some people are on, but we do go and we do performance level. So, uh, and then we could try things as we did tonight. We tried little technical and, and production value and so forth. Um, we've set the bar pretty high. Uh, we don't call ourselves Zoom Theater. Um, we call ourselves Smartphone Theater. And people who have seen us and seen our productions have been really, really thrilled. So I hope everybody out in the house is as well and everybody in our YouTube audience. And um, that's it for me. If anybody else want to, before we sign off, anybody want to say anything? You know, first of all, I want a big virtual hug to all you guys. And, uh, and um, remember to check your emails in about a minute because we will, we will have our little uh, uh, wrap up. Um, I think Gina just raised her hand again. If that's true, I'm I'm going to hit your button. Go for it. I did. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. I just want to say um, when you said at the end of March 2020 and reaching out to keep this thing going, uh, massive, massive shout out to Todd for not being thwarted or afraid of keeping this platform well, the platform hadn't been freaking invented yet. He did it. He invented it. And so the reason we're here almost 20 months later is because of Todd. And um, so big shout out, big kudos, big champagne glasses to Todd for doing this. And um, uh, I, I I love you, my dear friend, and you've done it. You, you keep doing it. And um, kudos to you. Uh, Thank you, Todd. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. Uh, Gina is an amazing playwright, another one of our amazing playwrights. And we, our first two weeks were with Gina's plays. They were amazing. She started the ball. Um, so Gina is fantastic. And, and like uh, Jean and Gina and a handful of our other playwrights, people keep on asking me, when are we going to do a, a weekend of all of Gina's plays? When are we going to do a weekend of all of Eugene's plays? So it's it's been it's been fantastic, and and in fact, look, we we have very working casts, both from Broadway and from film and TV, and I am just thrilled to say that I was watching um, Dope Sick the other day, and a member of Gina's cast from our second week had a major role on Dope Sick, and I'm like, this is beautiful. Hey. So, yay, yes, yay, yeah. Britain. So it was it was fantastic. So I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled with all of you guys. And um, thank you, thank you for for sharing your your talent with us and your time with us. Again, check your email. We're going to do a big, you know, post post hug really quick, and um, and that's it. So to our audience, I want to say thank you again for for coming out. Check our website, smartphonetheater.com, and you'll see when our next show is coming up. I believe it's a se it's either the first or second week of December. It's either going to be uh, Mitch Ryan or we're going to do a play by Tom Baum, um, directed by Mitch Levine, called Sperm, which is a wonderful a wonderful play. And uh, and in the meantime, happy Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving next week. And thank you again for tuning in. And we'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Thank you, Pod. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye